Hey guys, how have you been? It's been a hot fucking minute, right? Holy shit. I realize it's been forever since I made a video, like March. Like, that is bad. But get some coffee, sit down, have a seat, relax for a bit, let's have a chat. Holy cow, I've missed you. I've been doing way too much adulting, like way too much adulting. Like, it's been terrible. Like, haven't even colored my hair terrible. Look at this. Look at this. Looking like a witch. Oof. Well, I am a witch, but, you know, looking like I can't be showing people I'm a witch. Come on. Anyways, how have you been? Like I said, I've been doing way too much adulting. Way too much adulting. Hardly any thrifting. Hardly any buying of dolls. And hardly doing any doll stuff. It's, that's sad. It's very sad. Very, very sad. But I have done some things. Um, besides the, you know, wound care and general just taking care of people and feeding them and, yeah. Anyways. Mm. I'll have some coffee. This is obviously ice cold. I'm actually off today. I'm off today and I don't have anything to do except for to run to Walmart to pick up stuff for my parents and take Sage to the dentist. That's, that's all I have to do today. I mean, I had other plans of cleaning because that's one thing I have been doing is trying to clean out and pack things up. I actually cleaned my attic this week. Whew, that was tough. Obviously to make room to bring more shit up there, you know, because there's a lot of stuff just hanging around that I'm getting tired of looking at. Um, old projects and stuff and I need to make room because hopefully some stuff will be coming home this summer. If it ever picks up, because I look every week for estate sales and garage sales, and there's freaking nothing. Um, like I've said before, my Goodwill is horrific for toys. Uh, you might get some, like, McDonald's Happy Meal toys in a bag for, like, $12 or something, and some puzzles with missing pieces, but dolls and stuff? No. <laughs> the very rare, like, Journey Girl, maybe. Or, like, a... Uh, Antique, you know, travel souvenir doll. That's about it. Um, yeah, so I've, I've kind of cut off, cut myself off from going there. And, I, and I've been good about it because I can't do it. Mm. But I have done a little bit of crafting. A little bit. And it's about the... <coughs> allergies. It's about around the um, Petite Princess dollhouse furniture. Because, well, I would love, I would love someday to make a video on the dollhouse, but I'd have to clean it out. And I figured out the kitchen, which is awesome because now I feel like it's like really getting somewhere. So it's it's in the plans to make a video on that. I promise you, I promise you. But also the fact that I've been like kind of stashing things in there, like things that I find around the house, not like I'm out thrifting and I'm like, ooh, this could go in the house, put that over there. Ooh, this could go in the house, put that over there. So it's like a pile. But I did work on stuff for the Petite Princess dollhouse furniture because I really wanted to figure out lighting, dollhouse lighting, or at least, like, toy with that a little bit. That awful kit that I bought from Hobby Lobby. It was in the last video. I don't know what it was. A music store? Honestly, I threw, I took out what I wanted out of it, like, I don't know, random nonsense, beads and stuff, and I took all the lighting bits out so I could use the lighting in these. So, because uh, it was too freaking small for me. I, I couldn't even deal with it. But I used the, all the lighting stuff. So I'll show you these. Made little room boxes because as much as I would love a big brownstone dollhouse, A, they're very expensive, and B, I got no fucking room. Especially with that monstrosity over there. So I made little room boxes. Um, this one is not quite done. I, I'm going to turn on the lights. Maybe. Maybe. Yep, yeah, there we go. This is not quite done, like, I still have all the little accessories to put in it, and it needs some... I these light is all crooked. I can't get that straight. There we go. But, oh my god, how cute is that? Boop! There you go. Good job, babe. Obviously, I haven't tacked anything down. Um, yeah, it just seemed to make little boxes to put on bookshelves. So I can put books around them. Just a little bit more fun than... You know, having them in a tub or trying to buy a new dollhouse. So I did that one. He's cute, but I still have this, like, bag of things. And I haven't glued that on, obviously. This one's not done. To put in there. But it was more, like I said, more about testing the lighting. Okay. Woo. Let's get that one out of the way. 
Uh, I have cleaned out a little bit of spot on a bookshelf. And this one I really like because this was the living room. And I did put this on Instagram. Let's see the lights in there. Oh, and it has a little, like, you know, mirror over the thing. Really fun. This one's not going to fall apart too much because I, you know, put some blue jack in there. They're just fun. It was just, like, a perfect way to showcase this great furniture. Which I have not bought anymore because I'm trying to be good. Trying to be good. Not really. Um, yeah, like I said, Sage and I were hitting the state sales and they're just sucking. Sucking. The only thing I bought in the state sale recently at an estate sale <laughs> is this guy oh my god i don't know what he's doing here i don't know if he's staying but you know there was actually two of them and i and i separated them i only brought one home but the other one has missing some paint and stuff so more than his nose he's cute right i don't know it's another thing to take a room and then the antique doll situation happened i don't know what it is you know i and actually, I know from when it from where it comes. I was in the attic cleaning out, and I have a bag, like a big garbage bag of Raggedy Ann's up there, who I occasionally go check to make sure they're not like you know disintegrating. They're fine, but I have no interest in bringing them down. And that what made me think of I really need to bring some more people up here. Um, and I got to thinking about I don't know if like in your towns where you are, like they have whole town wide garage sales or town-wide flea markets and we used to go to one it was in Warrensburg New York which is about an hour and a half north of me about I haven't been in years but we used to go to that one it was really really good and you know that people would have like regular garage sales and then they would bring vendors in and I would get a lot of raggedy ends there and Dawn dolls I think it was before the Barbie era I can always remember like the dolls on the carts, you know what I mean? Like the antique dolls, they would have them on like these like tiered carts. And I was always just like, ugh, I really like them. But I have no, you know, need for them. And then I actually now, I have one, two, two Kessners. No, three Kessners. I have three Kessners. You get Enola and Effie. <coughs> so my favorite estate sale people, they have a showroom. Like, And I, it's kind of like they take things on commission, which... I should probably bring them some stuff. Um, and they also like things that they don't sell, like leftover things from, you know, estate sales that they don't sell, that they're stuck with. At least they have a place to put it. So it's really, it's a great place and their prices are really decent, like really decent. And then after a while they run things at 50 off and then they run things at 75 off. And there was like an antique doll collection there. And that's where I bought that green bedroom set Not for the doll, for that dollhouse, the monstrosity. Um... But there were antique dolls there, and I kept, I bought one, I think I showed her, the little Armand, the Floridora, she's in this case, I can't, you don't want to see in here, it's, everything's tough, it's all in here, anyways, she's in there, she's really nice with that human hair, made in France wig, beautiful, I bought her there, and then I kept going back, because I wasn't finding dolls anywhere, like, anywhere, and, I mean, I find dolls, but there weren't dolls that were coming home, because I'm just like, ugh, do I need you? I don't need you. Ugh, you're not speaking to me. But these dolls at this freaking place were speaking to me, and their price was crazy. Like, 75 off. Like, I, I think, well, I'll show you what I got. Okay, so first I bought this. This arm on Marseille came home first. She's a pretty big girl. Ooh. Zoe says she's the scariest of the bunch. Did I name you? I named you Taryn. That's right, Taryn for the barista. She had this big blue, like, coat or hat situation over this and a purse and all this stuff. And I just, I got rid of that. And just She had this really great lace dress on underneath it. Um, if you look at her close, I don't know how tall she is. I, I'm not really good about this. She's like, I don't know, 12. She's probably 26, maybe 28. The other one I thought was taller and she's smaller. She may be 28 inches. I don't know what model, mode number, uh mold number she is. I, I'm not taking a wig off. This was the rig she came in. It's nice. It's decent. I kind of like it. It's kind of shaggy. Um, her eyes, I don't think, I don't think she's got sleep eyes or her sleep eyes are not, um, working. I think they're just like, you know, plastered in place because you can see it's like the plaster is poking out of the corners, but she's cute, right? She's like, yeah, these, you know what it is? These dolls scare the shit 
out of my kids, out of the girls. They scare the crap out of them. I don't know. There's something about the history. Like, I'd almost, like, she was, like, 20 bucks. So, every one, I think I paid $20 for. Um, I can't be, you can't, how am I going to get all this history and all this doll for $20 out of a, you know, rainbow high doll? Like, it's not going to happen. Like, I'd rather spend the $20 on this, honestly. And I love their, like, little, their jointed bodies. I think they're just so cool. Her body's pretty decent. Um, and, well, her legs are really funny. Like, they're just, like, wood. She has a joint, like a, sort of a knee joint. But it's like a compo body and then wooden legs and then compo lower legs. I think it's hysterical. A little kind of Frankenstein up. So this is Karen, Arma Marseille. I'm going to mispronounce all these names. And then I went back and I found this girl. And I, this girl I freaking fell in love with. And now she had, I don't remember what she was wearing. I think I hated her dress. And she is, I, I'm not going to mess. A hubak? Uh, I wrote it down. I can't even pronounce this things. H e u b a c h, and then I think Couple Store Fisty Factory. But I love her. She's a little shorter. I loved her. I loved her freaking face. She was wearing some awful, awful clothing. They had a lot of dolls there. Like there was, there was a lot of dolls there, and, and a lot of them were just um, a lot of them were kind of. They were marked. Some of them were marked like. $400, 75 bucks, so 100 bucks. So I was just going for everybody who was like $100 or less and buying those. But So she was probably around 20 bucks too. But she's wicked cute. You know, for a long time you think, oh, they all look the same. They definitely don't look the same. Um, and her body's better, but, you know, it's got, it's got its issues, you know. She's all compo body, so her legs are all composition. Freaking cute. Love her. Uh, I think I named her Birdie. I think that's what I've been calling her, Birdie. And then this one, this one I actually bought on eBay. <laughs> and she's small. She's really small. And I actually bought her for her face. Because I absolutely loved her face. I'm going to take that. I made her a felt. Got it. Little elf hat. Um, this was what she, what she came in. Well, came with. She actually was not dressed. Because she was kind of in, she was in parts. So, I, she is a, hmm, S-H-O-E-N-A-U, Hoffmeister, I don't know, no idea, no freaking clue, but tons of freaking history, and tons of, like, girls, you know, this girl's seen some shit, she came with, um, her legs, or, well, her leg, one leg, and the upper thigh, rubber band sticking out, that's so, that. and she came with her upper arms, so I ended up just felting her some legs because, yeah. So she's not even really strong. Her arms are kind of strong with elastic. But, you know, hands and feet, courtesy of a porcelain doll that's been sitting around here from the Goodwill. I actually found her somewhere in a box. So I just, you know, I cut, I cut those off to give them to her. The hands are a little big, but I kind of like them. It's all right. Nameless, so... I don't know. Nameless. But she was cheap on eBay. Like, uh, I think I paid less than maybe, maybe $8 for her. I don't know. So it makes me think of all that time I spent, you know, at those town-wide flea markets drooling over these you know, dolls on the carts, wondering what their stories were. Anyways, that's all I have. Um... It's a really big weekend for me because it's my birthday, Mother's Day, and my anniversary. Today's actually my anniversary. Hi, hun. You won't watch this. Um, so i got to plan some dinner for tonight. Don't know what that's going to be. And, uh, yeah, no, the sales suck. Like, I just... I went to a vintage sale. It was a vintage roundup sale last weekend. Not a freaking toy in the place. No, there was one... I want to say... Clone doll with a big crochet dress looking like, you know, like she was a pillowcase, like a pillow cover. And I think she was uh, $185. And I was like, what the hell am I freaking doing here? And Sage, ugh, I brought that one. Good thing I didn't bring Zoe because Zoe only wears vintage clothing. But the whole place was vintage clothing, which is fun to see. Um, but don't ever throw out any rock t-shirts. Ever. Ever. Because Sage is like, oh, I really like this Metallica shirt. I'm like, yeah, see, that Metallica t-shirt from 2006 is $250. Like, that's fucking stupid. So anyways, I hope you guys have been good. Um, 
I would love to spend some time and clean up that dollhouse and show you. But, yeah. I don't know. It's kind of an embarrassment right now. It's more of an embarrassment than it's been in the past. <sighs> Anyways, I got some errands to run. Thanks for hanging out. It's a short one. Um, trying to figure out if I'm going to sell some things. BJDs are kind of just hanging out. They're all fine. They're all still here, of course. I, I always think, oh, I could put that one on the chopping block, that one on the chopping block. If I was to only keep three, what three would I keep? And it's just like, they're all like, yeah, we're never freaking leaving. So, not that I even would put them in the attic. It's other things like, you know, the Monster High dolls I bought in the box. And see, so just Care Bears that she took out of the attic and just random stuff. There's a lot of random. Anyways. Thanks for hanging out for a little while. Uh, I gotta go do some errands. Love you guys. Bye.